Hey, 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 everybody. It's your lovely Lotus Blossom, Lizzie. And today we are going to be doing a, a junk journal supply haul. So you all have to give this video a thumbs up just because we love seeing what other people get when they shop for junk journal supplies. <laughs> So before I get started, I always like to suggest that if these are the type of videos that you like, please make sure that you subscribe and also hit the notification button so that you'll be notified Ooh, when more videos like this one come out. Y'all see that? Ooh, let me move this. This is like too much smoke. I'm like going to kill my camera. Why is smoking like that? It looked like I started a fire. <laughs> okay, it stopped. Now y'all can see. I'm like, good night, Irene. Almost burnt the house down. Trying to set up the um, I'm trying to set up the atmosphere and the candles going crazy. <laughs> All right. So anywho, see now I got some kind of black stuff in there. I want. I'm tempted to reach in there and try to get it out, but uh, that might not be a good idea. I might boing my finger up. And y'all, this is the, I only had like a little bit of eggnog left. I was like, I'm going to have me some eggnog while I'm on with you all. And what happened? I got like that much eggnog left. <laughs> and I put nutmeg in it also. So, uh, if also, you can continue the conversations with us over at Junk Journal Buddies. And that is our Facebook group. And the link is in the description below. And also, I come on every morning on Patreon right now. <laughs> I'm on Patreon doing some junk journaling or something creative. And so, if you want to check that out, you can come over to patreon.com slash list for a day. All right. So, I was chatting with Nettie and Nettie said that she was um, making a junk journal for her mom as a gift, but she was kind of sad because she didn't have like, you know, fancy smancy papers. Well, you don't really need fancy smancy papers and of course, the thrifted items are very good as well. So, uh, so Gretchen told me to trim my wig down to like a fourth of an inch. Yeah, it was kind of long, so. And I have burned this candle before, but I think it, I think it's okay right now. <laughs> but I did almost burn the house down there. Hey, mouse, I haven't seen you like in uh, ages. We got Mrs. Rodriguez and Mrs. Aranda and Mrs. Gretchen and also Penny. Hey, Penny, Pen, Pen. And of course, we have Nettie because me and Nettie are always on chatting before we get started. So thank you all for joining me and y'all make sure y'all give this video a thumbs up. You know, you're going to like it. So you can go ahead and do that right now. And, uh, I mean, you don't have to do it right now, but you know, you're going to like the video. So go ahead. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get started because I have quite a few things and I actually, I feel like, uh, I haven't been thrifting in a while, but, uh, yeah, I think I went thrifting one time since Bobby was here, and that was in October. So, I don't think I've been this month. Yeah, I'm drinking my drinking my eggnog. Hey, Subi, how you doing? All right, so I'm going to start with some of the big stuff. <clears throat> and I always say that you kind of have to think out of the box when you're purchasing things, not just for your junk journal, but also for storage, also for your craft room, and you can find some good stuff. Oh, yeah, wait a minute, I forgot one of my lights. I got to turn on all my good lights so y'all can see everything. Yeah, I don't know what this is on my desk. What is this? What's going on around this joint? I just saw this. It's like, do I have something on my hands? This is so weird. Is it coming from this candle? Oh, it's coming from the candle. Mr. Candle. Good night, Irene. Anywho. <laughs> Anywho. -who. All right. Like I said, you have to think out of the box. So one of the first things that I got here. Hey, fam. Is uh, this doohickey right here. Let me see. Let me put it to the side so y'all can see. I think I have everything high enough. 
for you to see it, but I believe this is like for, you know, if you have like big cookie sheets and things like that, or uh, large dishes, you would put this in the bottom of your cabinet and then you would sit like your cookie sheets and stuff on it. Well, these are great for like those 12 by 12 pads that you have. So I just happened to find this. Uh, I went to, I think I went to, I'll tell you, I went to a church thrift store and then I went to Habitat for Humanity and then I went to another church thrift store and then another church thrift store. <laughs> so it was a lot of thrift stores. They're all in the same area, but I got this for like 75 cents. So I couldn't leave this behind. And so um, I'm planning on getting some big shelves for my room and I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to, I'm still trying to work out and map out how I'm going to get everything together. But I thought this would be a really good um, addition to uh, my storage. And for 75 cents, I thought I could take a chance. I thought it would be all right to take a chance. What do you all think about it? Okay, so hey, Kathy. All right, so the next big thing that I got, and this was a good deal as well, is dun dun dun, dun y'all, it's an ironing board. It won't even fit all the way on here. Let's move the candle out the way for now. And so it's an ironing board. You can see it's one of the ironing boards that sit on your uh, on your table. And so it has like the metal doohickeys here and they work. And they come up like so. And then you just sit it on your desk. So I thought this would be really good because y'all know sometimes I iron on my desk. So this is going to be for the craft room because y'all don't iron clothes. So. You can forget that chat. Let me see how to, there we go. And this was $2. Cost me a whole $2 for this. And so I picked this one up too. So I thought this was a really good find as well. Because um, for your craft room, of course, even if you're just a paper crafter, sometimes, sometimes you have to iron some stuff. <laughs> Especially if you're like me and you're doing a junk journal. So to have... I, to not have to take out a big old ironing board, that's kind of a win. And this will store really good too because the store is flat. So you can see the the legs are flat. So I don't know how much this would be if I didn't get it at a thrift store. But sometimes opportunities knock and you have to take them. And I took it. All right. So uh, let's get that out of the way. Hey, Wendy at Fab Crafts and more. How you doing? Okay. Now, I got a few games. And this was the first game that I got. And this is a Monopoly game. Now, as you all know, I just uh, released the journal, the uh, Pokino journal. Because I found that I like making journals out of game boards. And I haven't seen anybody else do that. So that's kind of unique to, <laughs> to Pleasant Creations. So I want to do more game board journals. Of course, they're a lot of work. But I put a lot of love into them because I love doing them. So I've been pick, picking up some game boards as well. So Gretchen says she only irons once a year. Girl, I don't do that. <laughs> I don't do that at all. So again, you have to think out of the box. I think there's like an extra game board in here or something. Is this the one? No. So here's the game board and it's quite lovely. So actually, I could do, if, if you cut things correctly, you could do, I could do like two journals with this. And also I could use the box. If you think about it, you can use the box as well. And and then, of course, it has like all of the cards on the inside. And we always love all the colors and stuff. Now, this one's not as colorful, but I still like it. These are all in black and white. And the other side is in blue. Yeah, I didn't look inside these games. I just kind of took a peek to see if... Uh, possibly everything was, you know, most of the pieces were going to be there because, you know, I wasn't going to play the game at all. Thank you, fam. Thank you. All right. And then, of course, we have our 
little game pieces. I mean, our, um, what is that? Gateway Arch. I never heard of Gateway Arch. Oh, I guess this is special just to this game. Times Square. Internet service provider. <laughs> you know, that's up-to-date Monopoly card. I don't even, it doesn't feel like all of these cards are even here. But that's okay. And then I can even use these little pieces. And, of course, we can always use the dice. We see if both the dice. So we got both the dice are in here, and um, these little pieces. Oh, this piece is like quite heavy. This will make a great piece on a charm, so I can use the dice for charms, even the houses for charms as well. Yep, you can use the pieces for charms, and then. Uh, if this works, I could also sell this because I'm probably not going to use this piece. And we have some more cards down here at the bottom. Oh, I guess these are the credit cards that go in here. So we'll probably either keep these because these would be nice in the journal as well or just sell those with this piece right there. Okay. Anywho, and then the instructions. You can use the instructions for the inside um, as pages inside of the journal. That would be kind of cool as well. And then I've been trying to think of what I could use like the the plastic this plastic piece for, but y'all, I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure I could use that piece. That might be the only piece that I wouldn't be able to do, but it can go in the recycle bin, of course, because it's plastic. All right, so let's put all this stuff back in here. And like I said, I can tell some stuff is missing in here, but. It's okay. I, that, I wasn't really going for a full game because I had no plans on um, actually using this. Uh, Subi, there is actually a video on here on YouTube where I put together a Scrabble uh, game board. So if you put in Scrabble uh, Junk Journal, it will probably come up because there's also a flip through of it and put my put Liz for a day and it should come up and you will see it. Okay. Let's put that down. And... Okay, y'all, it takes me a second to have a lot of stuff here. Okay, so here's another game. So I was purposefully... Um, my mission actually was to uh, get, can I put them all over here? Yeah, was to get um, album covers today. I mean, not today, yesterday. But I also wanted to look for games as well, and I found a lot of games. So this one was Dice Doodle, and actually it was taped down so I couldn't like open it up. So I was hoping that all the pieces would be inside here. So it's supposed to have six dice in it and some cards um, with this particular game. So uh, again, I can use the cover and I will even use the back of it as well and the sides. And that would be like a journal cover and the spine right there. And let's see what we have here. So inside of here, I've never even heard of this game, but because it had the dice, I was like, I'm going to go for that. Yeah, this is pretty cool. And hello there, LL. All right. So, y'all look at these dice. They are. These dice are magnificent. Wouldn't these be nice on the charm? Y'all just, I have to practice uh, doing charms with the dice on it. But look at that. And they have like little happy, it has a happy face on there. That's pretty stinking cool right there. Yeah, happy birthday, Rachel. I already said happy birthday today. I was the first one to say happy birthday to her. I just want y'all to know that. <laughs> I already said happy birthday to her. <laughs> Don't want to get uh, me in trouble. <laughs> okay, and then this is the cards that came with this. So lots of cards. So I'll probably put some of these like in some card packs as well. Since I have a lot of cards, I'll probably I'm I'm actually revamping some of the um some of the listings that I have. So I'll probably be um upping some of the the quantities of things like this cards and stuff since I have so many now. 
block a turn, free roll. These are kind of cool. Yeah, this game is cool. I like this. Okay, so let's put this back in here. Enough looking at the card. They like overpackage this stuff for, for show. I can't even get this back in here. Well, we won't worry about it. I'll worry about it later. But y'all look at, let me show you something. See the side of this? That's pretty cool. That would make, make a cool spine. I'm thinking that would make a cool spine, actually. <laughs> so I'm just looking. Because y'all know I see junk journals in everything. Everything. All right, so let's put this to the side. And... All right, so here's another game. And this one is Rum Cube Rummy Dice Game. And it was supposed to have nine special rummy dice in it. And that's why I picked this up. And it was a good price too. And this one, let's see. Hey, Sally, we're glad you're here. So this is what the dice looked. So this was a well-used game because you can see some of the actual letters are coming off but that's okay it's still that adds character character i mean the numbers are like engraved in there so even though some of the colors are going away you can still see the number so that's pretty cool so i like those so it's one two three four five six seven eight dice in here so these are some different kinds of dice as well so I'm liking that. So y'all y'all got so we got 24 people on here right now, and there's only six likes. Y'all know y'all gonna like this video, so go ahead and give it a thumbs up. <laughs> now there's also um so there's two pads in here, and it doesn't look like they've been used. So I can use some of these as well. These will make uh perfect journaling opportunities as well. Because you can write on these. So on the front and the back, these will be quite lovely. So I like those. And we got the instructions. I can use this for a page as well. We waste nothing. All right. And again, I could actually use. I could actually use the this for a cover. And then that's what the back looks like. It's kind of cool. All right. Okay, let me, let's look at something different here. Okay, I have some calendars here. And these calendars are actually from 2020, but y'all, I don't really hang calendars on the wall. They're all stuck together and driving me crazy. And these actually came from a funeral home. <laughs> They're funeral home calendars, but y'all look inside. Well, you can look at this picture right here. So I was like, I'm going to get two of those. And then, so this is what it looks like on the inside. And of course, this is uh, the outside of the calendar. So this would be uh, great for an inspirational type of journal. You can make some huge journaling cards with these. Hey, Boo Boo Kitty. Long time no see. <laughs> and look at that. So this would be uh, definitely good for like a gratitude journal, a spiritual, a religious type of journal. Well, you don't even have to have a religious type of journal. The pictures are quite beautiful. So y'all give the video a thumbs up for beautiful pictures and calendars. Because you can find some great images in calendars so if you can get your this is a good time to get your hands on some 2019 calendars that nobody wants or they're throwing away and even the ones that have writing on it those are quite nice as well so look at that very very nice Y'all haven't looked at this, so I'm looking at it along with you. And y'all also like these pages, because look at the... Look, they have, like, different colored numbers. I'm sure there's a legend on here that tells you what the numbers are for, but I think that's kind of cool, because y'all know I'm a color kind of girl. <laughs> and 
and then that's December. All right, so, and those are from a funeral home. <laughs> so, funeral home. Okay. Next, let's put this over to the side. And Okay, this is not really a junk journal, but I did get these kitchen towels because I needed some kitchen towels. And, I, you know, sometimes you have to think of what things are worth to you. I think I pay like two fifty for three of these. Oh, it's just two of them. But they're nice and big, so that's like $1.25 a piece. And they're like brand new. And technically, you can use um, towels and napkins for covers as well. So that's a good place to get some fabric. If you only need like a little bit and you find some that you like a lot, you can use those for journal covers as well. And you can use them in your craft room too to cover things up so, it, so they won't get dusty. So I hadn't even thought about that. See, you gotta think out of the box. Y'all helping me think out of the box here. Next, let's see. All right. So, this one I was like, mm, I don't know if I want to pay $2 for this, but <laughs> y'all just don't know. They had like somebody, they had got a hold of a lot of stamps, so it must have been a crafter. A crafter probably passed away because I told y'all, y'all know crafters don't give this stuff up like that. And these are like brand new numbers, so I don't know if all the numbers are here, so let's check and see. We got, I like the font on these. Let's see if we can come down and hopefully we won't break anything. Because y'all know, we did that the other day. We got some letters in here. Let's see. It said, you two. Hey, Emily. <laughs> you said they need to get better about the notifications. They do. You just have to kind of set your alarm because sometimes you win and sometimes you don't. When it comes to uh, the YouTube notifications. So y'all can see these are brand new. Some of them may be used, but they look pretty new to me. I'm just trying to see if we have them all because I haven't checked any of this stuff. I just threw stuff in the car and I just got some of the stuff out the car today because I went, I did the thrifting yesterday. Yeah, I, I had the opportunity to get a lot more stamps, but the place where I got these from, I just felt like they overpriced things for the thrift store. They wanted like five dollars for some of the stamps and stuff, and that probably, honestly, they were new stamps and they were ginormous. It probably was a good deal, but since I already have like a zil gazillion stamps, I just kind of let that go. All right, I'm just trying to lay these out so I can just see if, by chance, they are all here. These are I love the fonts on these. That's the reason why I got it, because at first I was like, I'm not going to get these. But the fonts are really, really nice. Ooh, look how the 30 is made on there. That's kind of cool. <laughs> you want those for your planner? Sorry, these will not be getting racked to anybody. <laughs> There's no rackage for these. These are for moire. Y'all don't be eyeballing my stamps. Keep your eyeballs off my stamps. All right, so I'm gonna go through them real quick. Actually, I'll probably fit back in the box like this. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that because it's gonna take me too long. But we got one, two, three, four. I don't see five. Oh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, uh -oh, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, Uh-oh, y'all. I don't see 28. Oh, 28. 29. 30. 31. 30 and I saw 31. Yay! I know I know y'all was going through and saying, 
There's 26 right there. <laughs> There's 10 right there. <laughs> I heard y'all. I heard you. So I got the whole set for a very good price. Yay. All right. I'm just going to stuff these back in here since they're all sitting up. Oh, and y'all see I got the... Uh, the T H, the R D S T and the E N. I mean the N D. So that's pretty cool. So we got. Uh, let's see if we can put these back in here some kinds of way. I don't know how did they all fit in here. I don't know. Seems like uh, there's still a space missing. All right, and it had a pad in here so I don't know how good the pad is let's do a quick check check one two one two let's just do one see I think that pad is pretty dry look that still looks new <laughs> there's nothing coming off that pad not really okay so we're just gonna go ahead and toss that in the trash we don't need no sticking pad there all right so I'm gonna stick this back in the bag until I figure out how I want to store it. Yeah, I got a lot of stamps, y'all, too. Okay, so let's put that over to the side. Next. Okay. This kind of fell off the shelf, and I was like, okay, I'll take that. Because <laughs> I can use these rulers in my mixed media. Uh, y'all, hold on one second. Okay, all right, so I got these three, these three things right here. So I, you can like, uh, I don't, what it says, Borderless by Creative Memories. Y'all get the gist on these, but it was three of these, and they kind of fell off the shelf, and I was like, okay, I'll take those. <laughs> so I'll take them. All right, next. Okay, y'all, these didn't come from the thrift store. I got these from the dollar store. So I actually got this brush. Of course, these are makeup brushes. I got this brush right here for um, when I'm doing embossing. Because I did embossing for the first time because Penny sent me, she racked me some embossing um, materials. And I used them on a mixed media project over on a Patreon channel during a live. And I didn't really have anything to kind of brush off the powder. So I decided to get a makeup brush and see how that works for me. And then also this is just a foundation brush. And I thought this would be good to try out on some of the ink pads. I actually saw Rachel at Scrap Craft Tastic with one of these and I thought... I would try it. Y'all, it's like a whole bunch of little bristles on here. Y'all can see. That's kind of cool, huh? So it'll be interesting to see how this works. So they're really soft. And this was, I think this was one of the, I want to say larger ones, actually. But, you know, it was uh, good. Oh, that beeping, that was my um, stove. <laughs> that was the beeping. Somebody asked was at the microwave or what that what was beeping. My brother is cooking. He's making all kinds of noise. We're gonna have to do something about him. <laughs> okay. Next. Okay. Look y'all, I got this bag of like kava shells. Like somebody was doing something with them, but you know, we don't care about all that. I'll be taking these apart. Okay, some of them are already coming off. And these can go on some charms. Some little kava shells. So Gretchen says she has the um, this brush right here. I think quite a few people have them. They're really nice. And so I've got a whole bunch of those. So here's some more in the bag. 
So I'm going to take those apart and put those in a the jar. They're actually really pretty too, so they would make good decoration. You know, most of the things in our... Um, most things in our craft rooms are so pretty, they're nice to display as decorations, aren't they? So they kind of do double duty. <laughs> Is my brother married? Girl, you don't want that thing. <laughs> you do not want that thing. I'm just telling you. <laughs> you my friend, so I'm just telling you ahead of time. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would be good on a beach thing. Cause you know when you see shells like this it just reminds me of the necklaces that are made of the kava shells as well and um so uh gretchen called them uh puka shells and it just reminds you of the beach doesn't it all right i got this and it's a really heavy uh stencil with letters and i actually got this probably more for mixed media but i'm thinking I could even decorate a journal page with this. Put it on the page and like spray it with some uh, glimmer mist, and it'll make a really nice uh, decoration. Or take some, some um, what do you call it? Matte medium, like the real thick stuff, and you could use this. And I think this will wash up good too. It's a really thick, kind of old school kind of stencil. So this will be nice to have. So Mouse says that she uses the, those brushes um, on her stamps and they work well also that way. That's kind of cool. <laughs> I told you, Boo Boo Kitty, you don't want that thing. I'm trying to save you some heartache. <laughs> Listen to me. <laughs> Listen to me. <laughs> All right. I'm going to have to block on that one. And then this was the jackpot right here. This was the jackpot. And I was very, very, very excited to get this bag of dice. Y'all have no idea. Because that's one thing that I was looking for in the games. But you know, you only get like one or two um, dice in the game. But the trick is to look for games that are dice games. Like the, some of the ones I showed you already. Or if you can get a hold to like a Yahtzee, a couple of Yahtzee games, those have lots of dice to it. So, um, but this, they were actually selling these in a pack. I got them for like a dollar. So that is kind of cool. I don't know what they had red on here for. So I got all these wonderful dice. Let's see how many. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, Ooh, Gretchen says she found Tupperware stencils. I didn't know Tupperware made stencils. <laughs> and Nettie says she uses acrylic paint and stencils. I use paint and stencils in mine too. Because, you know, I like, I like doing a lot of things in my junk journal. And so mixed media is one of the things I like to do. All right, next. Let's see. Ooh, I got to hurry up. I still have uh, quite a few items. So I found this and it said Huggable Hangers Ultra Slim Finger Clips. And I was like, what the heck is that? So you'll see here they have like the hangers. So these are the clips that you would hang maybe scarves or your pants on and things like that. So let's see. It was just four in here, which was okay. It was like 50 cents. But I was like, I could use this for something else because these clips are quite white strong and actually I um hang up my mats for my brother's scan and cut and my cricket I hang them up on the on the hangers that are for pants and they have these clips on them and these are some nice strong ones so I'll probably use these for that so Sue asked what do I use the dice for? Charms. I will be using those for charms. So if you have like anything that's kind of bulky, like small things, like game pieces and stuff like that, you can make charms uh, with the with those pieces. Because those are the interesting pieces that everybody loves. Because you know, us junk journalers, we're kind of like whimsical and we like we like fun stuff that you can kind of play with with your hands and stuff. So those game pieces are quite perfect. So y'all, give this video a thumbs up for game pieces. <laughs> All right, next.
Ooh, I told y'all. I, I got more stuff than I thought I got. And I didn't spend a lot of money. Okay, so I got some pattern pieces. And y'all, I use the I use like the pieces themselves a lot. So this one was kind of raggedy and everything, but I still like the cover. Even though it had like some writing on it, which to me, it just adds some um it adds character to whatever you're gonna use it for. And I would even use like the back as well. This one's kinda eh. It is kind of questionable, but it had lots of pattern pieces on the inside that I can use. And I actually used the pattern piece on the Pokino journal that I showed you all yesterday. And I used some of these pieces, and they have like a really nice feel to them. And they're translucent when you glue them on, and they're just kind of cool. And then also, I can use these directions also. So... And I tried to just pick a few covers that I liked because I, I didn't really feel like digging through them. But they were pretty inexpensive as well. And I found this one and it had clowns on it. So I got this because I could see myself doing some type of a circus journal in the future. So I thought this would be pretty cool. So this is one of those things that I'm saving for later. This will be a hoarded for sure. <laughs> It'll be hoarded. What well, Wendy asked, how do you attach the dice? Uh, that's going to be for another video. <laughs> That'll be for another video, Wendy. But I will tell you, you could um, check out Jessica Rapp, her channel. She uh, shows how she does her uh, charms and dice. Okay. So, next, let's look. Yeah, I actually have everything sitting on a table that I got, a fold-out table, and it only cost me like three bucks for the fold-out table. All right, so I have some books, and uh, I didn't even look inside this book. I just saw it, and I saw that it was Halloween costume. I was like, this would be great for a Halloween journal, and so I got this, and I, I love books like this. Y'all, not that I have so many books, I don't know. Okay, help myself. And let's look at some of the pictures in here. Oh, these are like some little monkeys. In here, let's see when this book was. Yeah, I might go over an hour, I can already tell. I gotta put my old lady glasses on for this one. Let's see, and they're all smudged. Oh, this is just from 1984. So from 1984, but well, it looks really vintagey, doesn't it? But it is vintage. <laughs> 1984 is vintage. Y'all know how many years ago 1984 was? <laughs> that was like 40 years ago. So people don't think about it, but even the 90s is like almost, you know, 20 something years ago, depending on um, what year in the 90s it was. Oh, Livy said that she saw a few patterns at a thrift store, but they were kind of uh, musty smelling. So these didn't, they didn't have a smell, but yeah, that would be something definitely to consider because you can't use anything that's all kind of stinky. Hey, Barb, I didn't even see you in here. Okay, so I got, let's put this to the side. Y'all, I'm like buried here again. Ugh. I have so much stuff on the floor. Okay, so I got a few of these books. And I just, I love these books when I saw them. So I was like, I'm going to pick these up. And where's my smoochy glasses? This book, right, it says, A Children's Book About Human Sexuality. I didn't see that. <laughs> but okay. But that's what it has. You're either one or the other. Yeah, I don't know what this book is about. But I like the um, I like the illustrations in it. And let's see, when was this book made? This is from 1980 as well. And then this one is Tough Stuff, a children's book about trauma. This one is uh, 
a children's book about handling fear, dangerous things, places, and situations. Let's look inside. So I do like all of the illustrations and things. And I definitely can still use the covers, even even though these have like sensitive subjects <laughs> that they're on. And this one is a children's book about physical needs, keeping your body alive and well. And this one is a kid's guide to making friends, a book about being social. These will actually be some good books to give to your children, actually. But, you know, these are earmarked for journals. So I just like the colors and I like the material, the how heavy they are. Um, I thought they would just be perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect for journals. And tons of beautifully illustrated pages, of course. It's not a lot of just text pages. All of, all of the pages have a lot of illustrations in them. And the solution is get a bigger house. <laughs> Ooh, Emily, you said you were born in 1996, child. Don't feel old. Um, my grandson... When I told him when his mother was born, he was like, she was born in the, in the 1900s. <laughs> so that's how kids think now. All right, next, y'all, I got to have some of uh, my eggnog that's almost gone. It's quite tasty. All right, and the place where I got the books at, all the Christmas... Almost every place I went, Christmas stuff was 50% off. So if you go to your thrift stores now, you all, you can most likely get some stuff that is already marked down. Instead of waiting till after Christmas to go to the big box stores, go to the thrift stores. They're trying to offload that stuff because after Christmas, nobody's going to buy it from the thrift stores. <laughs> and they get tons of Christmas stuff. Ninety seven. Okay, so this book was in really good condition, and the only reason why I bought it is because well, actually, even though it's a Christmas book, um, the place where I got this from, they had the books. Um, they had like a bag sale for books, so I thought these would be very nice pages inside of some Christmas journals. Cause y'all know I already said I was gonna be making some Christmas journals throughout the year, so. And I got all my Christmas stuff together thanks to uh, doing December dailies. <laughs> so I wanted to get a few more things to make the books out of as well. So I thought this would be a good book. Let's put you over to the side. Y'all, this is uh, the only golden book that I saw while I was out. Because I think lots of people picked them up now. And this was probably overlooked because he was so tiny and he was like really like shoved inside of some of the other books so um and this is uh, Muppet Babies be nice let's see when this was made this one is 1993 which is still like 30 years old <laughs> a little short of 30 years old so Gretchen Gretchen says she would buy uh thrift store stuff after Christmas our thrift store is what I found find is that they may have like another building or something where they have, have most of the Christmas things at. And they just kind of hold it there until it gets really close to Christmas. And then they shove everything else to the side and they put the Christmas stuff out. So now it's like a good time to get it because it's, you know, some things are like a dollar and you can get it for 50% off. That's just wonderful. So we got the Muppet Babies and the little golden book. So this will be a little baby golden book mini and then this book right here i got this is a um although i have tons of antique music paper i thought this would be cool because it's um different it's made a lot different <clears throat> excuse me it's made a lot different than the other um books that i have and so that's why I got this, basically for the fonts and the way the music is on here. And I thought it was kind of cool. So Nettie says she's been trying to find little golden books for a while with no luck. I used to find them all the time and now it's getting harder to find them. Let's 
Y'all have to drink a little bit. I'm feeling a little sniffly. All right. So that's that book and has lots of music pages in it. Still got a few things left, y'all. Still got a few things. All right. Since. Let's see. All right. So here's some napkins. And I got these. Um, it's four of them. I got them for like two bucks. And let's open this up if I can. Let's take a peek at them. Hopefully they're all in good condition, but for the price. So y'all, isn't that beautiful? This will be beautiful on a cover of a, a journal. That's what, in my mind, that's what I was thinking when I purchased these. So I got four of these. So I can... Probably out of one of these, I could get um, a few journal covers out of these. So these are just very beautiful. And of course, I was surprised that nobody picked these up because they're very Christmassy. Because look, they match my nails. <laughs> they match my nails. So I knew this was going to be like a, a very good, a very good pickup for me. Oh, Wendy says that she sees the little golden books at antique shops now. So I don't even go into antique shops. Because they charge too much money. Now she sees them there. So I got four of these. They look like they're all in good condition. As y'all can see, this is my first time looking at them. So I had to pick this these up because they were quite nice. And I don't believe these were ever used. I don't see any stains. They feel new like they've never been used. You know how things feel. They have that new feel. They kind of stiff feel. That's how these feel. I Gretchen, I can find the paperback little golden books, but not the hardbacks are very, very difficult to find now. All right. Next. Yeah, I got another um, Monopoly game because I just like picking up the Monopoly games. But what I'm going to do, which I haven't done yet, is break the boxes down so that they'll lay flat and make it easy to store. But, you know, if you're not going to make, if you just want to get the game pieces out and you're not going to make journals out of the covers or anything, you can use the boxes for storage as well. So I've done that also. So again, you have to think out of the box with the boxes. And this one, there's like a few. Um, there were some games that they didn't want. And so I got like this game board right here. This is not a Monopoly game, but look at that. I don't know. This was country music trivia game or something. Isn't that quite cool? They had some of the cards to this, but I didn't like the cards. They were really plain and blah. They were blah. So we have a dice here and some pieces. And of course, Monopoly money. Who doesn't love Monopoly money and more dice here? So I like playing around with the Monopoly money. This has two sets of instructions for some reason. So definitely can use the instructions are quite beautiful as well. And they can go inside of a Z journal. And then, of course, we have our community chest cards. And then these are different shaped, shaped differently. But they have like the, the normal names on them, of course. All right. And let's see what the board looks like. Just our regular board here, which is still quite nice. It looks like it was gently used, so that's kind of cool. And of course, I'm always looking like at the sides of the box. Look at that. That would make a terrific spine. And let's just put this one back in here and this. Let's see, look at the spine. Very nice. And even the back has all those colors, and y'all know I'm a color girl. So this is very beautiful. I could even see these, um, this being a Christmas journal as well. 
Okay. <clears throat> All right, and then we have dun dun dun, dun fabric, and a lot of it. Y'all, this is not just fabric. It's a sheet. It's a sheet, a flat sheet, and I think a fitted sheet. But it's very pretty. I think it needs to be washed, though. I see some spots on it. But I think it doesn't smell, but it probably could use a wash, and it should be fine. I wonder, does it have the pillowcases in here? It might. I'm not going to open it all the way up, though. So this will be um, going into my fabric collection, which I have, like, uh, a few shelves in the closet now with fabric. <laughs> it's crazy. And there's more. There's more. Uh, thank you, Emily. Emily says she never would have thought of thinking of using the um, the pieces of the box as a spine. But yeah, girl, you got to think out of the box. <laughs> Thanks, Maddie. All right, y'all. This is a um, tablecloth. And so I only paid $3 for it. And I got like a whole lot of fabric. And I like this a lot. And it's kind of translucent. And I like that too. I like the translucent feel. Because I do like translucent fabrics. Because you can have something underneath and still see it. Just like on that um, on the Pokino um, book that I showed you all yesterday. So that's pretty cool. So you can see. So again, you got to think out of the box. You can use. And I know the thrift stores, they sell like pillows and stuff too. For on the cheap because nobody wants the pillows <laughs> so you know like the decorative pillows so then you have some decorative fabric you can buy the pillow throw the stuffing away wash everything and then you can use it but there's more okay Ugh. so this is what this was my original intent when I went to the place where I went to to get uh to get album covers I told you I was going to pick up album covers and I didn't think that I was going to be able to find any album covers because because of Christmas time I was like all of the albums are going to be gone for Christmas child please what happened was since everything was 50% off Christmas stuff the albums were 50% off as well so I got them on the cheap so, oh, I actually was looking at the album. I wanted to see what kind of condition the album was in, but I don't really care about that. I have some ideas for the the albums themselves, but I don't, I, I'm not ready to divulge that just yet because I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure if my experiments will work. But I thought this cover was um, pretty nice. I tried to get the album covers that had, like, nice colors on it. And then I also was trying to think of how I would cut the covers. So you have to kind of think about that because, of course, I'm not going to use this whole cover here. But maybe you could just use like the middle part of it, which I will probably be cutting a lot of stuff off. But Or maybe like this part would be the cover, which would be better. Or over here on this side. So you have to kind of think about that when you're buying your, um, if you're going to do the album covers like I did. And it just so happens, this one was very, I didn't even know, but the back of this cover is actually really beautiful too. So what I did with my, um, with my book is I did the front cover as the front and I did the back cover as the back. And the back just had writing on it. But this one, I would probably do two books with this because I can use this for a front and I can use this for a front. And I will find a way to do a back cover. All right, and then here's another one. So on this one, I will probably cut this like this. So this would be the part that shows. And instead of cutting it in half, because then I cut this beautiful graphic off. And then see the back is just plain Jane, but you can still use it for a back cover as well. And then look, stereophonics. I don't know what that means. <laughs> and 
I don't have anything to even try to play the albums on. But I like this. It kind of reminded me of kind of like a westerny kind of country kind of feel. And, you know, I know we got some country and western people out there. I got people in my family who love country and western. <laughs> so I thought this would be a good cover. And that's what the back of this one looks like. Oops. So Nettie said, make charms from the album. She want to see. Want to see me come up with that one, girl? I don't know about that one. <laughs> that would be interesting to make a charm out of big old album. So this one I could see using this part and this part, but mostly this part right here. So if you just look at that, that would be a beautiful cover there. And then that's what the back looks like. And then this one, of course, White Christmas. So I would want to try to keep the White Christmas in there. I'll probably have to cut some of it off. Unless you make it kind of oversized that way. That's a beautiful cover. Look at that. Yeah, see how the light hits that cover? That's cool. And that's the back. Let's see if I can put these down on the floor somewhere. I'm running out of floor space. Firestorm. Firestorm. <laughs> Firestone. <laughs> This is a beautiful cover. And then that's what the back looks like. Kind of cool. Y'all give this video a thumbs up for cool album covers. See, you don't need no stinking books to do your journals. You can do your junk journaling from album covers for sure. If you can find them, that is. <laughs> but they sell them everywhere now. Christmas is the time to say I love you. <laughs> yeah, that's country boo boo kitty. Y'all, I was leaving the store and I saw the little drummer boy and I was like, oh, I'm picking him up too. And I can make two covers out of this because he's on the front and he's on the back. So that's cool. Y'all, it's going to be interesting to see how many journals I actually make. <laughs> And I thought this would make a wonderful cover, too. They actually had more than one of these, so I tried to pick the best one that they had. But I could definitely, if it comes out good, if they still have them, I could look for the same covers over and over again. Because, you know, there's an overabundance of, of old albums out there now. People don't really, you know, really do vinyl like they used to. There are some people that do, though. He can make a few charms out of one record. The thing is going to be cutting it. <laughs> cutting the album. And this is kind of pretty. Like I probably would do this part right here. I wouldn't really worry about her so much. But I like this graphic down here. And then this is the back. And I even like the back. Because there's some repetitious stuff going on. And you know the eye likes repetition. My eye does. I actually have one of these albums already. But y'all know, this is my dad. My mom told me that Johnny Mathis is my dad. <laughs> so, um, this is my dad's album. So, I had to... Um, and, and you don't find um, very many African-American um, people on their albums. And so, I can find Nat King Cole and Johnny Mathis. And that's uh, about it. So, I have a few Johnny Mathis albums. You want to get a turntable? They sell them. They still sell them. This rep record is in really good condition. Now, y'all, I can't even, I cannot uh, tell you what that says up there. I guess that's their names. Ferrant, Ferrant, Fer, Ferranta and Tecachit or something. Look, it was only $1.99. What year is this from? Let me put my old lady glasses on. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Uh... If it has a date on here, it doesn't. Drats. No date. I think it's a compilation album, though. Oh, no, it's not. But you can write for a free catalog. <laughs> no, it doesn't have a date. Okay. Going right along. Now, this is a beautiful one. 
it's a little bit worn. It could use a little bit wiping off. And some of these, you can't like just go full on with soap and water, of course, because you're probably like, this is like paper, of course, or cardboard rather. So LL says that that she has a um she has a cassette uh cassette deck cassette tape. I have one too. Oh cut the um you know it might have some sharp edges if you cut them up like that though, Nettie. I don't know. You have experiment with that and let me know how that comes out. <laughs> Uh, Nancy Wilson. I haven't seen any Nancy Wilson. I haven't seen uh, now I'm talking about like stuff like this Christmas albums back in the 70s is still um, and I will say I know what you're saying mouse like so, those but the problem is that you don't see those type of albums in the thrift stores. I don't know why but I hardly see any R&B. Uh, I guess the R the um, people that listen to R&B they keep their records, so I haven't seen any R hardly any R&B in the thrift stores, because that's where you would see most of the African American people on the albums. So it's a it's a uh, you j we just don't have access to that so. So yes, you all are naming some very good African American artists, but the but as far as the albums go, they're just not out there. Not in the places where I'm looking at anyway. So uh Emily says, would um uh, would alcohol work to clean it or would it take the ink off? I think it would take the ink off. <laughs> I think it would take the ink off. I would just like just use some water and just lightly just wipe it. Now this one has some plastic on it and y'all see, let me see. This is the second one I have like this. So here's one and I decided to get both of them. And this one's in better condition. And that's what that looks like. So I got two of those. Yeah, people keep their R&B ones, I guess. That's what I'm thinking because I'm telling you, I just, I don't find stuff like that. I find stuff like this. <laughs> And surprisingly, I found quite a few uh, Johnny Mathises, but he was uh, he was a more of a crossover as well. So as far as uh, the music genres genres go, all right. So yeah, I'm still not finished. Where we at on time? Oh, well, we're over, but I'm almost done. I just have a few more things here, so I want to do a little testing here because I've got some pins. And these are Zig pens, I believe. I've never had Zig, and I've heard people rave about them. So I definitely picked them up. I thought it, I, I was hoping that they work because I didn't have a way to test them. So I had to take a chance on these. So let us, but normally crafters don't, well, I want to say they don't keep pens that don't work, but that's not necessarily true, is it? I probably have some pens that don't work. So let's see. Okay, it wakes. Let's bring y'all down some. So this is the fine tip, I believe. Let's see how the other side looks. So um, I think these would be good in a bullet journal too. I can kind of tell by the way that they write. And yeah, let's try this one. Get these glasses off. Ooh, so this is the same pen. Yeah. Okay, y'all can see there's nothing on. This was a scrap piece of paper here. This was a pick list from when I was, uh, I had so many orders on that day that I had to do a pick list so that I could um, go in my storage and get stuff out. All right, so let's look at the blue. Oh, y'all know something else that I wanted to tell y'all too? Let me see. Let me find one if it has it. Hold up. Sometimes I think this one has it. Like these albums. Speaking of the inside. All right, so that's the raggedy album that we don't really care about. But sometimes they have like really cool paper in the inside. 
sometimes this paper this feels more like a kind of like it's a waxy kind of paper wouldn't this be cool a cool piece of paper to put inside of a journal so you kind of get and then you can you can do things with the album there's lots of stuff you can do with the album um, the albums themselves but you can almost recycle everything that you get and you can get it on the cheap <coughs> oops sorry y'all it's that ecosystem I don't mean to hit y'all okay now back to the pens let's see this one that green is very different from the green on the on the lid here isn't it but that's all right let's see they're very fine I don't know what the big deal is about these pens I think they're expensive too but I like them but I don't know they just feel like ordinary markers to me maybe after I use them for a while but the point is they work and they're different colors so I can definitely use these so they'll go into my writing utensil drawer and they also had these which are alcohol markers and I don't think I have I don't think I have these colors let's see let's see if we have these colors All right these are the ones I have I have my writing utensils right next to me. All right, so these these are the colors I have. So we have the yellow that goes in there. So let's see, number fifty-five. No, I don't have fifty-five. So that's good. So I don't have any of these colors that I got. So let's see if they work. Let's take the tape off. So as you can see. I wasn't able to check any of these because they had them all taped up and stuff. So hopefully they will work. So I think these were a good find. What do y'all think? You think the pins were a good find? All right. I do like the alcohol pins. This one looks like it was used. There's a little bit of contamination on that, but still. That's what that one looks like. Now it's not an official pen test, but oh, I can't get this one loose. I just my thing was just to see if they worked, and I think they're win. I think they all work. So yay! So if you know how to do the brush pen thing, which I don't. All my stuff look the same when I try to do the brush letters. I actually have a book to do like the creative letters, but I got disheartened because I just couldn't get, I couldn't get the letters the way I wanted them to be. So nice. So I can add these to my collection. So that was a good find because usually for, I mean, it's only like five pins, but probably for a few more pins, you still will have to pay. Um, probably at least about eight or nine bucks for them. So that's a win. Because, you know, I, I have something that I can use these for. Definitely. All right. So those are the pins. They work just fine. And then we have these pins. Y'all, these are micron pins. I was like, I'm in on these because I love these pins. And these are different colors. I, actually, I have some right here that I use all the time. So here's some of my microns right here. And these are all 0.5, I think. Yep. So that'll be cool. And those are, work really good in bullet journals as well. So let's see. I just want to make sure they write. And they do. And they have a beautiful... Now these are are definite were definitely worth the money i paid a dollar for all three of them so yeah look at that and they all work just like if they were new they look new like they've never been used this was definitely a win okay 
And then I have one more thing. And this was a good find. I think it was a good find. You all have to let me know if you think this was a good find. I got a side kick. So, uh, fam says Micron and Uniball are her favorites for the crafting and doodling. Me too. Me too. So, for those of you that don't know what a sidekick is, the sidekick, and you know what, I didn't even check check to see if they had the plates there, but the plates weren't with the sidekick, so I have to get the plates. But, um, y'all know I have the Vagabond, which is the electric die cutting machine. And, but I think it would be nice to have a sidekick, a small one that you could just have on the desk and just roll things out really quickly. So, of course, I got this for like a phenomenal price and I was all in. I've never had a sidekick before. It looks like it's in good condition. You can tell it's been used, but that's okay. You know, and look, I got it for five bucks. I was like, uh, normally when I go to a thrift store, I'm not paying five bucks for nothing. <laughs> but this time I was like, okay, I'm down. I can do this. I can do the five bucks for the sidekick. So for those of you that have a sidekick, do you think that that's a, um, that $5 was a good price for this? Y'all let me know. I don't know who else had anybody out there have a sidekick. Y'all can tell me. Was it was it worth it to get this heavy too? So I'm hoping it works. I did order the plates already for it because I got excited about it. So I'm gonna see if it works. If it doesn't work, I'll send the send the plates back. <laughs> Oh, so they have generic sidekicks as well. And this is a Sizzix, so this is not even a generic one. So she says that those go for $27 to $30. It's a bargain. And the plates only cost four bucks, so. And that was with shipping. So I thought that was pretty good. So altogether, if it works, I would have paid about nine bucks for this so I thought that was a good deal a good dealio so I got lots of good stuff today you all I got the I got the sidekick I got all these pins well actually I went out yesterday I got um, the napkins I got oh wait a minute I'm trying to talk and do stuff at the same time that didn't really work out for me of course, oh, there we go. I was going to say this thing. Ooh, cha. Let me bring my candle back. Here we go. <laughs> so, Habubu Kitty says she will use a plate. You can't use a plate in here, Boo Boo Kitty. You can't use a plate. <laughs> you have to get the plates for the sidekick. So, I got all the dice, the games, the stamps. I got the clips. Let's see, we got pattern pieces, we got uh, calendars from the funeral home, <laughs> we got uh, just a lot of stuff. We just got a lot of stuff. We got all the albums, so I should be good uh, for a while. So y'all, my craft room is, um, it is, I have an overabundance of things, that's how I look at it. So I'm going to be having fun with all this wonderful stuff that I have. Woo! <laughs> Boo Boo Kitty said, got some um, good rack items there. No, there's no rack items here yet. <laughs> Eventually, I might have to rack some stuff, though, for real. I might have to do a de stash because I have a lot of stuff. But y'all use my stuff. It ain't a game. I'm using my stuff. I don't think I have a lot that I haven't used, but I do have some stuff I haven't used yet, for show. Sure. For show, sure, for show. Sure. So, um, before you all leave, please give this video a thumbs up if possible. And if you're coming on on the comment, I would love to hear your comments about this beautiful haul. If you have a sidekick, I would love to know if you think that $5 was worth it for the sidekick. So, Gretchen says, looks like Wish has die cut plates for the sidekick. Girl, I just went on Amazon and got it. <laughs> 
I went on Amazon and it cost me a whole four dollars. Cause you know, you buy something on Wish, it costs you two dollars to get it. It's gonna take you forever to get it. Might as well just get on Amazon and I'll have it tomorrow. <laughs> That's how I see it. Sometimes it's not worth getting stuff on the cheap, cause cheap is what you get. <laughs> So, fam says her son said that her craft room looks like the North Pole threw up, threw up in it. <laughs> oh, but that is my place, fam. That is my place right now. I got, I have some working to do. That's why I'm trying to, um, on paper, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to get this place organized because it is truly out of control. That's why I said, if you all saw my craft room, you wouldn't want to be friends with me. <laughs> Because you'd be like, oh, no, not her. I'm not going to be friends with Fred Sanford. <laughs> oh, Gretchen was thinking about it fast. That's why she said you could get it on Wish. <laughs> I wish I could get it on Wish. I've Actually, I've never purchased anything on Wish. But I have purchased on uh, other places. But sometimes it's just worth it just buy from Amazon or another Etsy person, another Etsy shop. So, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and shove off. We didn't go too long over the hour, but I appreciate everybody being on with me today. I am so happy and, and excited. And I, I would love for you to move in with me too, fam. <laughs> that would be a lot of fun to have another crafter here. Just like when Bobby was here. Oh, my God, we had so much fun. So much fun. All right. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and shove off everybody. So I'm just going to say love, peace, and hair grease. From your sweet Lotus Blossom and lovable Lizzie, have a fantabulous day and enjoy life.